session 13 jobs in jenkins this session we'll talk about how to create a job how do you use git how do you build a project and how you do you check the logs build logs so creating freestyle job running the jobs setting up a global environment for jobs adding and updating plugins disabling and deleting jobs so jobs in jenkins a jenkins project is a separate build job which contain steps and post build actions the type of actions you can perform in a build step or post build actions are quite limited this is an incomplete statement. The complete statement is there are many standard plugins available within Jenkins project to help you overcome this problem. They allow you to continue build configure build triggers and offer project based security for your Jenkins project. So you create item, you build application and you uh, just see the console uh, output in the console. So creating a freestyle job. The freestyle job is highly flexible and easy to use option. You can use it, use it for any type of project. It is easy to set up and many of its options appear in other build jobs as well. To create a freestyle job, you need to log into a Jenkins dashboard. And after that, uh, you click on a new item. And create a job in the center or create new item on the top. This is this one or this one is one and the same thing. In the next screen, enter the name of the item you want to create. We are going to use Hello World project. And this is what uh, you have seen in the demonstration. Uh, there should be no space in the name because uh, it will create a directly with the same name. And Linux is not good in handling the spaces until you escape that with the slash and that will create more complex uh, you know cases so freestyle job give the name then select freestyle job and then details of your project whatever you want to explain these are the tabs you can uh, they will directly take you to the corresponding section general source code build triggers build environment build and post build actions this is similar to what we discussed what i demonstrated yesterday in visual builder studio If you have a Git repository, enter the details. Else you create one. Under the source code management, enter your repository URL. And if that require require credentials, you specify that also. So this is my Jenkins repository. And uh, had it been my uh, private repository, I would have entered credentials as well. It's also possible for you to use a local repository. If your GitHub repository is private, Jenkins will first validate your login credentials with GitHub and only then it will pull the source code from your repository. Now that you have provided all the details, it's time to build the job, build the code. Tweak the settings under build action to build the code at the time you want. You can even schedule the build action periodically, in my case, at set times. Like in my case, if there's a change, then build it again. Under the build, click on add build step. In our case, it was a simple Java program. So we used execute shell and add the command which you want to execute to build your project. And this is the same thing, same screenshot what I added Java C hello world or Java and Java hello world to compile to execute that program. Here I have added Java commands to compile the Java code on my Linux machine. And these were the two commands I used. Java C hello world or Java and Java hello world. First command is compilation. We will compile, create a class and second is to run that class. Save your project. When you have entered all the data, you save your project, click on apply and save. And after that, you click on build now. So you click on build now 
you can check the build status on the right and on the left hand side you click on this link anywhere whether this number or this link anywhere you click it will show you the build history also and the, you can check the build logs also that is console output or the logs so click on console output to see what exactly is happening while building this so at the end you will see the success part where the project build was successful it should show you a success message provided you have followed the steps properly in sum what we have done is we have executed a hello world program hosted on github jenkins pull the code from remote repository and build continuously at a frequency you define if you are using jenkins file that is advanced topic but uh, in those jenkins files what we do is we generally use environment variables and configurations so jenkins exposes characteristics of components using environment variables and that you can see under manage jenkins and configure system to configure global settings and path we need to go to configure system in the jenkins dashboard go to jenkins dashboard click on manage jenkins go to the configure system and then verify the home directory available and other settings as an example this is your directory <coughs> like where live jenkins in my case and this is our directory i specified in my agent also for example we can set android sdk in path environment variables to set continuous integration for android apps like this android variables so you specify android sdk and the value where you type the path of your property file and click on add this way you can add environment variables but you, we don't have any example will not be working with this feature because this is this comes under advanced topic uh, where we create jenkins file and complete the scripting before that before you work on this you need groovy scripting syntax and groovy how groovy works env wares with jenkins files we can set environment variables globally by declaring them <coughs> in the environment directive of our jenkins file this is a file which is actually the default script file and this makes jenkins a very very powerful tool why because this jenkins file can also be uh, version controlled what am i saying you can place this jenkins files also in your repository and you can set up that repository so you don't need to set any 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 steps post build action or uh, build actions in the console it will simply pull this file you specify the path of your repository it will pull the file all the file script and the jenkins file and it will build automatically using the jenkins file this is default file just like in docker we build the image using one single file that is docker file so the docker file is automatic and uh, understood by default when you use docker build command which you'll learn today or tomorrow let's see how to set variables like this is a disable auth and db engine this is a jenkins file declarative pipeline this is your pipeline how you specify in jenkins file environment and this is the syntax of specifying the variable disable auth equal to true db engine equal to mysql if you use these two uh, environment variables in your jenkins file then it will replace these variables with these values interpolation is quite simple dollar sign curly braces and give the name of the variable inside this this approach of defining variable in jenkins file is useful for instructing the script for example a make file we can also install inject env inject plugin to inject environment variable during build startup in the build configuration window we select inject environment variable and uh, add build step combo box so inject environment variables and specify the property file and the variable name we can then add the environment variable in the properties context text box for example we can specify the user profile now for we can use any of our environment variable by surrounding that in dollar sign and curly braces as i explained just before that uh, as an example echo 
database engine is db engine so this was environment variable we created dollar sign curly braces we have to enclose that so the output will be displayed to the user as a database engine is mysql as was mentioned at the value specified in this environment variable adding and updating plugins plugins are the primary means of enhancing the functionality of a jenkins environment to suit organization or user specific needs there are over a thousands different plugins which can be installed on a jenkins controller and to integrate various build tools cloud providers analysis tools and much more plugins can be automatically downloaded with their dependencies from the update center the update center is a service operated by jenkins project which provide an inventory of open source plugin which have been developed and maintained by various members of the jenkins community jenkins provide a couple of different methods for installing plugins on master using plugin manager in the web user interface and using jenkins cli install plugin command each approach will result in plugin being added by jenkins but may require different levels of access and trade offs in order to use the two approaches require that jenkins controller be able to download metadata from an update center whether the primary update center operated by jenkins project or a custom update center the plugins are packaged as a self contained .hpi files which have all the necessary code images and other resources which the plugin need to operate successfully the simplest and most common way to install plugin is through the manage jenkins manage plugins view available to administrators of a jenkins environment so go to the available tab search for a term it is a ajax based search box and you will see the plugin click on check box and after that it become so easy so under the available tab plugins available for download from the configured update center can be searched and considered there is another way to install plugins and that is uh, jenkins cli administrators may also use the jenkins cli which provide a command to install plugin the scripts to manage jenkins environments or configuration management code may need to install plugin without the direct user interaction with the web interface i mean going to the command line directly accessing the backend and for that uh, there is a command there is a jar file java archive file which will help you with that so the jenkins cli allows a command line user or automation tool to download a plugin and its dependencies so the syntax is uh, the file name is jenkins cli dot jar you need to search for this file and once this file is available you have to execute it so java hyphen jar so this is the cli command cli utility source so this is localhost install plugins s o u r c e and then deploy hyphen name value restart what is the meaning of each one of them let's go one by one this will install a plugin from a url or from update center the source source means this points to a local file if this points to a local file that file will be installed as a plugin it will treat that file as a plugin if this is a url jenkins will download the url and install that as a plugin otherwise the name is assumed to be short name of a plugin in the existing update center like fix bugs or sorry find bugs and the plugin will is, will be installed from the update center so it may be a local file it may be a url it may be a short name of the plugin any three possibilities are there and you can use either of the three hyphen deploy meaning deploy the plugin right away without postponing them until the reboot the name value hyphen name value if specify the plugin will be installed as a short name 
whereas normally the name is inferred from the source name automatically and restart means restart jenkins on successful installation this is the syntax for cli updating a plugin updates are listed in the update tab of manage jenkins manage plugins page and can be installed by checking the checkboxes of the desired plugin updates and clicking the download now and install after restart however they are automatically it automatically checks the updates after every 24 hours and whenever there is an update it will automatically download and install it but if you can change this behavior so by default jenkins controller will check the update from the control center update center once every 24 hours to manually trigger a check for update simply click on the check now button the check now button in the update tab disabling a job from the project dashboard click on the small down arrow button in the name of the uh, project and then you see configure uh, workspace build now delete rename so configure is where you will do most of the actions so go to the configure and then under configure there's an option project is parameterized and disable this project checkbox so when you select disable this checkbox and apply and save then this project will not be built and it will not be handled it will simply disabled deleting a job same small down arrow button and then we have down delete project option that's all for this session let me continue with the uh, to verify whether my build was done after 15 minutes or not because it is more than one hour now so this is my jenkins my friends and this is my project and you see the third build has happened this build was after the 15 minute of check period because it was started by scm change and this will show you the trigger how this project was started so if i check my uh, console output it will show me that today's date in the output that yes it has executed that also let's go back uh, to the dashboard and uh, understand the option which i was talking about this hello world project uh, you have to take mouse pointer here to see that down arrow otherwise uh, earlier it was appearing directly but now it is not so go to the dashboard take the mouse pointer near the project title uh, project name and click on the small arrow and then now you have more options rename github git polling log delete project configure build now workspace change so configure under configure you will see disable this project so now i disabled this project save the project is currently disabled and you'll see that here similarly uh, under manage jenkins uh, you see system configuration configure system global settings and paths so configure system will take you to the configure global configuration settings like this is home directory system messages maven project configuration executors uses jenkins location Jenkins URL, system admin email address, right now no nothing, root URL, global property, this was the environment variable which I was referring. Environment variable, add and specify name of the variable, let's say maven underscore home. And the value is uh, slash opt slash uh, apache maven. As an example, and I just add this, apply and save. So this is how you can uh, create list of environment variables uh, which will be used in Jenkins file. Save it and close it. Similarly, go to more settings like uh, global tools configuration. Under global tools, you will see Maven configuration, JDK configuration, Git configuration, Gradle configuration, and then Maven installation setup, which you will do today. More, uh, again, more examples are there, manage Jenkins. Manage plugins we have done, manage nodes and cloud node, I just added one. Configure security is there in our agenda, we'll discuss that in detail. And that's all for this session, thank you very much.